Umar says, I heard of a hadith where a woman went to the Prophet ﷺ to make dua for her to cure her illness. But the Prophet said وسلم, to her that if she would be patient instead, she would get Jannah. Can you please explain this hadith? Does it mean that it is best to be patient and not to seek medical help? This is an issue of dispute. Is it mandatory to take medicine and to get treated? The majority say that this is not mandatory. It can be recommended and it can be permissible and sometimes it's not recommended. So when the chances are 50-50 of recovery, leaving it is best because you're trusting Allah. When the possibility of recovery is 25%, then it is not only best, it might be mandatory for you not to go for it because the risk is far greater than the possibility of recovery. And if the recovery rate is higher, like 80%, 90%, then it is highly recommended to accept it and to get treated. Unless, if you don't get treated, you will die or have something serious happening to you. In this case, it becomes mandatory. So if I'm bleeding and I'm refusing to treat my wound to stop blood from continuing to come up and uh, out and kill me. If I don't do this, I'm sinful. It is a must for me to treat it. If there's a need to amputate one of my limbs, otherwise it will cause my whole body to uh, be affected and die as a consequence, then it is a must to get treated and to amputate that organ. But if it's a normal 50-50 chance, maybe, maybe not, this is up to you. It's halal to do it. And if you want to refrain, then this is permissible. The hadith Brother Umar is referring to is the hadith of a black woman who used to have seizures. So she came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, O oh Prophet of Allah, pray to Allah that I recover from my seizures. So the Prophet looked والسلام, to the rewards, knowing that if he makes dua, she'll be recovered. But if he doesn't make dua and she's patient, her seizures would erase all the time sins and give her good deeds. So he gave her the choice. If you wish, I'll ask Allah Azza wa for you. But if you are patient and I don't make dua for you, Allah will admit you to Jannah. So the woman said, okay, Prophet of Allah, I'll be patient, I want Jannah. This is what I'm living on earth for. This is my final destination, I hope. So yes, don't make dua for me. But when I have these seizures, I fall down and my clothes may expose my aura because I'm unaware of what's happening to me. So pray to Allah, that when I have my seizures, that my aura is not displays, displayed or exposed. So the Prophet made dua for her. Scholars say that this is an indication that tolerating pain for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal is something that is rewardable, something that is recommended, and that seeking healing and cure for your illness is not mandatory as we've stated in the beginning and Allah knows best.